There. Okay. I think I've got all the bunks worked out. Hopefully this thing doesn't go haywire like it did last time at Tommy's. Here it goes. Aw, oh, sawdust! It's still not working. Oh well. I'll get it right eventually. Back! I'm back! Where are you at? I'm in the workshop, Bokun! Come on down! Hey, buddy! How you doing? Hey, Bokun! Welcome back! I'm doing okay. How was your vacation? Oh, pretty good. Just traveling around the multiverse, chilling at Emerald Coast Beach, and, uh, I might have played a few pranks on a couple people here and there. Oh, Coon? Oh, come on! They weren't malicious! I was just having a little fun! I promise I didn't blow anybody up or anything! They were just harmless pranks! You better not have blown anybody up, or you're gonna be in big trouble, mister, you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. So what happened while I was gone? How are things going with Shanita? Did she get married yet? No, not yet. But I do have some good news. Oh? What's that? Shady's finally cured of her sipping tendencies. And Sonica too. What? Really? That's great! How'd they do that? Well, you see, Tails discovered that the reason that Shady and Sonic were always sipping after Sonic and Shadow is because they actually had EXEs growing inside them. EXE implanted them in there, and that's what was making them do all those things they used to do. Fortunately, he was able to remove them, but uh, the EXEs kind of broke free and uh, escaped. They then transported Shady and Sonica to the EXE world, but thankfully, Sonic and Shadow were able to go there and defeat Sonic EXE and rescue them. Oh! Well, it's about time someone put that cursed demon hog in his place! I guess that also explains why Sonica and Shadina were always sipping after Sonic and Shadow. <laughs> you know, I used to watch them chase after them all the time back when I was still with Dr. Eggman. I always kind of thought it was funny, but I'm glad they're finally cured now. Yeah, plus the portal to their home dimension is now finally opened up, which means they can go back to their world now. But Shady decided to stay here in this world since it's been her home for over two years, and she has friends and family here. Plus, she's getting married. Makes sense. I'm sure everyone would probably be sad if she just decided to leave. Especially her fiancé, Boom Sonic, and her brother, Eclipse. I know she's really close with them. Yeah. Oh, and I have something else to tell you about Shady Balkoon. Oh, what is it, Beth? Well, you see, I, uh... Shady's now my adopted mom. Say what?! Yeah. I told Shady that she's always been like a mother figure to me since I lost my real mother. And she said she wouldn't mind having me for a son. So now I'm our little Tinkerbot son. Aww, that's so sweet. I'm so happy for you two. So now you and Shanina are mother and son like that Lincoln girl Brandy and Classic Metal Sonic, right? That's right. And no offense to Classic Metal Sonic, but I think my mom is cooler and more badass because she's the ultimate life form. Yeah, I have to agree with you on that, Beck. Shanina's definitely cooler than Amy or Brandy. So, are you going to move in with her and Boom Sonic after the wedding? Uh, well, I don't think Shady's told him yet. I think we might wait till after the wedding. I'm not sure if he's ready to be a dad like Multiverse Sonic yet. So I'll just stay here for now. Alright, that's fine. I'm sure those two probably want some time alone after they get married. But hey, you still be best friends and roommates, right? Sure, Bokun. We'll always be best buddies and roommates. You're like a little brother to me. Oh, gee. Thanks, Beth. I feel the same way, too. You took me in off the streets and helped me change my ways. I'd do anything for you, buddy. Same here, Bokun. You're the best friend a wooden robot could ever ask for. Oh, don't mention it. So is there anything you need me to help you with? Sure. Would you mind giving me a hand fixing up this badening? Sure thing, buddy. Great. All right, let's get tinkering. All right! <laughs> 